Okay, I have a couple of cylinders that I want to be able to not only look at each other, but track um, if I need to move their pivot points. So what, what I have shown here is basically two bones, and this right bone is copying the location of this empty with a copy location constraint, and then it is tracking to this empty on the left with a damp track constraint. And then this empty is doing the same thing, only opposite. So it's copying the left empty's location and damp tracking to the right empty. I want to do the same thing with these cylinders. So as I move around, you should see they look like they're pointing at each other. So I'm going to take this outer cylinder, go to our constraints tab, add a copy location. I want it to be on the right. And I have my Z axis pointing along the cylinder. So when I do a damp track, I want to track to the left empty. And it's defaults to Y, and I just select Z. And now it will copy the location of the right empty, but it always tracks the left empty. And we just do the same but opposite with this inner cylinder. So we're going to copy location, the left empty. And then we're going to damp track to the right empty. And use the Z axis since I've got it pointing along this inner cylinder. And what's really cool about this is now when I move this, it looks like the cylinder is extending and retracting, but following the rotation and you're pivoting on the right side. This is great if I need to move the pivot point for my assembly. Now I can do the same thing with just a joint, but it's not going to stretch. And I guess this is the only limitation. So if I copy the location of this empty, and then I add a damp track to this empty, I can still get it to follow the direction, but if I need to move and make this stretch but maintain a straight line, I still don't know how to do that yet. But it, this is at least a decent workaround. So I thought I'd share that with you. Thanks, guys.